Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video for how to um, how to get high, high WS, I guess. So this video is gonna ki kind of be different because I'm gonna be analyzing a, a pro match, uh, not a pug, uh, for Nafly. Um, why I'm doing this match is because first of all, you know, it is really crazy how Optic actually won the E-League Season 2 match. And, um, you know, this is something that no one, like, I I'm pretty sure no one ever thought that it's possible for any team to win a major event. No offense to like anybody that's playing uh, CS in North America because like that's where I am too. But you know, the level of uh, uh, improvement has been very drastic. Uh, let's turn on the x-ray. Um, let's turn on the x-ray here. Okay, so so this round... Um, okay, so Nafly is going for a knife there. Okay, so this round is pretty much over. Um, very clean round. I, I know I was... I know I was, um, you know, speaking too much, but I mean, pistol round pretty much uh, got Bobtech pretty much got killed outside, and they couldn't stop anything. And uh, let's see what they do this round. So Nafly went for a D light armor, which is a pretty good buy, and um, looks like they're gonna try to connect to test the second round um, T side. Let's see where Naf plays on this map. So. Uh, looks like he's gonna be the Ivy player or the player towards um okay so he's gonna be he's gonna be pushing Ivy. Okay, so now he has to wait for his team teammate to bait for him. As you can see his teammate is right here baiting for him. And um you know and uh Dupree does have a Molly. Oh that was a nice shot. Ooh, that was a crazy shot. Um That was a pretty that was a pretty good um That was a pretty good round by him that he was able to get that kill and do some damage on the other guy. I mean, he was in a one and done spot, so there's not much he could have done. I mean, one for one trade on an eco round just to bring the T's economy down a little bit is pretty good. And uh, this round, he's opting for another CZ buy just to make sure that, you know, do some damage, make sure the T economy is low enough so when they do get on the buy round, if they win like one or two buy rounds, they could be on even footing in terms of economy. And um, so Nafly now changes his position. He's gonna play outside by, I guess this is what you got, which got bomb train. And um, I guess easily picked off there. I mean, no need to peek there. Uh, you're you're taking a disadvantaged fight. I mean, long angle with the CZ. You're always pretty much just wishing that you know you have pretty good lucky shots. So th so this round is where where we can see how how Nafly really plays this map. So two flashers, one smoke, and one decoy. Uh, looks like he is going to be going to Ivy. Uh, let's see if that's the case. Um, I mean, train tr Ivy. Ivy. It, it is a really good. I mean, it's very important position on this map because once you have Ivy, you can pretty much pinch the CTs from so many different angles. And um, okay, so it looks like Naf is going to be the Ivy player, and he's going to also be watching Olaf side of uh, train. So two of his teammates already died, and it looks like they already have B site. And uh, Naf is just transitioning through Z area. Okay, so he's pretty much got a save now. Um, this round is pretty much over. Two, two, two easy picks at B. Uh, at least, okay, so they saved two guns only. So that's not bad. They could still buy next round. Um, let's see if Naf can do some damage here. As you can see, the T side is building uh, their economy pretty well uh, in terms of, um, you know, money saved they could at least for four to lose two rounds and still have full buys um so if i was nafly yeah i would try to make a play with the rush you know both of us has m4s so try to make a play ivy or something just to see if we can get some early kills and bring some, bring the advantage to us so th that's good that rush got a kill um another early rush outside by by Astra astralis and um just just got wrecked you know outside just got wrecked very fast round by Astralis. I, I think it caught uh, Optic off guard a little bit. As you can see, you know, Astralis be throwing very fast round at B, very fast round at A. Um, so they're definitely switching up the pace and switching up the like anticipation from the Optic side. So they definitely have to, you know. Okay, so this round is interesting. Naf is actually switching up his spot. So it looks like he's going to get an early pick on B side because of his spawn. So let's see if he has the right timing for this. And uh, let's see if um, he can actually do some damage. So the first thing he aims is, is down uh, low, lower lower part of the... So this is a pretty good angle. So you're not exposed to the top part. 
uh, where it could be peaked and you're only watching the lower section of the uh, the stairs area and now he slowly peeks slowly tries to clear so Mixwell gets a kill I assume that's outside and uh, you know Nav has a pretty, pretty good position that you know all, all, all the CTs are at A site now and it looks like they, they finally know that it's gonna be an A hit for sure so Nav is trying to transition as fast as possible to help his teammates so now he he walks so they don't know that he's actually Z but you know good teams like Australia good players they, they probably so I said they're gonna go outside because I heard him run all the way back from ladder. Okay, so Rush actually said something in team chat. That's funny. Ooh, he made some noise. Um, yeah, just gotta save. You know, play smart, play defensive. Make sure you have guns when you can actually contest. Like this round is already over. I think he's gonna get killed here. I think he's gonna get killed here. Okay, that's good. He gets a pretty quick, um, pretty quick, uh, quick scope onto device. And um, so in terms of uh, in terms of you know Nafli, he hasn't really seen much action. He like in terms of gun rounds, he his position hasn't really been tested. So now he's they're switching up things again, which. You know, for for a team like that, yeah, sure. You, yeah, if if you're a team, if you if you know your team as well, and if you know their capabilities, always try to put them in advantage positions. Like say in terms of this round, right? Nafli has a good, has has an op, and none of the other teammates have a gun. So let Nafli play where he, wherever he also play that he feels comfortable holding the holding down the, you know, holding down the map. So now he's taking care of you know teammate and also Ivy, and uh, as you can see, Australis, you know, they're they're trying to switch up things all the time. So. Last round they were like you know main IV you know ladder now they're they're trying to go B site so, uh, so Stan gets a kill gets traded so now now Australis Australis is actually not exploding so they in terms of last two rounds when they get a kill they explode onto the site and now they're taking a slow right you see you see the map they're taking a slow so it looks like they're gonna go back to A but you know optic. Has been, you know, their their defense has been penetrated so many times now that they they have to be aware of, you know, if they could still re-engage. Um, so Mixwell is trying to check out, you know, the the B halls if anyone's there. And uh, you know, Ivy, no one's looking Ivy. So Nafla is playing smart. You know, he's not he's not rotating like so fast, right? He, he's aware that you know no one's watching Ivy, so someone could be here. So he's trying to take it slow, right? Try to clear out the angles. And you can see Australis, right? What are they doing right now? They're waiting for you to get information, right? They're waiting for you to get information. And as soon as you get information, we'll, we'll just... And this round is pretty much over again. So Australis T side is very, very good at, you know, being unpredictable and going where, you know, and baiting out the team, baiting out their, the, the opponents. So this round is pretty much over. Like these are just exit kills. Wait, so... Yeah, this round is over. He's not really going for the win. So another round to Australis. So 7-0 now. Um, the Optic definitely has to win this round if they want to do anything, right? If they want to do anything on this map. Um, so let's see where Nav plays. He has a pretty good spawn for B, but it looks like he's going to go A again. Uh, maybe that's his preferred uh, spot on this map, um, Ivy. So he's going to go Ivy. As you can see, you know, no one really goes Ivy on Australis, right? When they go A, they explode out a ladder and team main. And then when they go B, they explode out here and probably not even upper. And now they're switching up things again. So three IV, one watch team main, one watch ladder and B, B push. So, okay, straight up gets wrecked there. And um, so they're calling a timeout, you know. It's pretty smart. Okay, so they lost the round again, I think. As you can see, um, they are, they're not, they're doing damage, but not enough damage, right? And you know, nobody's getting any kills. So basically, pretty much getting rolled right now. Um, so they're gonna search up things again. I don't know what Naf is gonna do here with the op. Well, he's trying to not get counter flash. He's trying to go for an op pick right here. Okay, so that's that's interesting. I mean, I don't really like this play. It's very risky, but you got to do what you got to do, right? When you're 9-0 down, it's the game is pretty much over at this point. Like, 
If T gets like six, seven rounds, you're already in trouble. And now they have nine rounds, and you don't even have a round on the board. You're pretty much, you know. And you see, Glaive is jiggle peeking to make sure the op doesn't have. Okay, yeah, it's a very bad position. Very, very bad position. So kids, don't try this at home. You know, if you have a shotgun, you might, you might, you might stand a chance. But with the op like at that type of range, okay. So they actually won the round somehow, right? But as you can see, Nav didn't play a part in that round at all. You know, he gave up his op. He gave up his position, and overall, it's just a bad play. You know, I much rather him um, go to the end of the hall and peek from there, or hold an off angle from there, than you know, hold a close angle where he's pretty much looking for a no scope, which uh, which makes no sense. And uh, I don't even think Naf is necessarily upper, so he's trying to switch things up to see if they're gonna. So so Strella's running the exact same strat, right? Three one one. Um. Something must have not worked last round. Uh, they're gonna, they're probably figuring out, you know, how they should approach this round better to make sure it works. So Naf is holding an off angle at Ivy, and uh, you can see Australia's very, very good execution. You know, Molly the right side, smoke the left side. See if anybody bait some flashes, bait some smokes. See if anyone's here. You know, and now they're switching back. They're going back. So they're switching back to Nays, right? So device through his nays already they're getting glaive and cager by right with nays they're kind of trying to reapproach ivy again so it's a very high technical like setup here because the first set of nays is to bait out whatever you have and now the exact same nays the exact same nays and now they're trying to approach approach ivy again and uh, a pop flash from rush you know that's a very bad play that's exactly what strells wants you to do they want you to burn your flash and go for an aggressive peek and uh okay so naf that's a crazy kill that's a crazy kill he has still he's 100 hp he can still do a lot of damage okay jiggle peeks that gets another kill gets another kill perfect you know but that's just pure pure individual skill but you know Estrella's won on the strategy side right they baited out the flash from rush and rush got impatient he wanted to see how many t's there are he wanted to be aggressive and he got punished but Naf, you know, he if he didn't hit that crazy USB shot, the round would have been over too. But you know, that's where CSGO is an uh, individual game and um, it's hard it's hard to it's hard to beat people like that, you know. It's hard to beat people when you even you could out strategize them, you could outthink them, but if you're not executing your shots or your trades perfectly, a good players can always punish you. So Naf likes to hold off angles and throw his nays early sometimes, just to you know slow them down and uh here he's jiggle peeking a lot and you can see um uh, you know optic is really playing this map really passively so t's can pretty much go wherever so t's already on the b site now 4v2 mixwell is probably gonna die you know he doesn't know cager by is already sneaking up on him and then nafly is switching uh to the site as fast as he can so you can see cager by's position okay so he actually oh i almost guessed him Oh wow, so Cager by is, was in a very bad position there. Nafla is trying to push aggressively because he knows that there's not much time left. And um, I don't see how they can win this round. So this round is pretty much a wash. Um, but it's interesting how people are switching to the A4 now. I mean A1 now. He's dead. Yep. I'm surprised that... Optic beat Astralis, how? And how did Astralis make it to the final with SK in this tournament? Hmm. But you can see Astralis is very, very, very like technical on their T size to make sure that everyone executes the strategy perfectly. And most importantly, it's the timing. You know, as soon as they commit, you know, we're going to take this site. You know, it doesn't matter if you're two people or three people, everybody is on the same page. You know, you can't have. One guy baiting, one guy lurking, and uh, okay, so Mixwell gets an entry kill on device. Tar gets another anti pre, and then Nafly fakes a flash, which I don't, I don't know what, what that's. Okay, so that's a decoy. Um, so now he's moving to, for the flank, which you know this round is pretty much secured for Optic. He just gotta move closer, and uh, you know kill Glaive, preferably one shot. Okay, it works as well. And you can see he's not reloading, you know why? Because he knows that th his teammates are nearby he, and he doesn't want to get 
you know, punished by reloading. So he's, so he's trying to, you know, at least it has a fighting chance if he if he sees if he sees the uh, enemy player. So he checks um, stairs, he checks ladder, he checks, you know, uh, electric, and no one's there. So now he's boss him at hell, and um, you know, Caterbys okay, gonna get cleaned up. Easy round there. Let's go to the next round. And um, so Nafli looks like Nafli looks like. And Nafli knows exactly, you know, what time he should be aggressive, you know, what time he should flank, what time he should not flank. So as a player, you got always got to weigh the consequences, right? So if the teams are not punishing you for, you know, pushing on CT side, you have to know that, you know, some rounds you have to take the risk and push. So they make sure their teammate win the round more easily. And this round, as you can see, Nafli is um, playing the same spot again. He likes to be on the right side of Ivy. And uh, he likes to aim upwards because I don't know. Maybe it's very common now for people to peek from up there. That is not even a surprise. So he likes to pre 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 aim on top of the you know garbage, and uh, you know just throw a flash, bait out something, and uh, hold his angle very very aggressively. Which which I'm not a big fan of to be honest because you can't get away if because you're basically saying hey come at me let's take a one v one on T side, you know, and T's. If you're playing like smart, like you should always take a 1v1 if you know where the other CT is because you know, you don't want to get crossfired, you don't want to get, you know, baited into a setup and like overall it's better if you know you could do take a 1v1, take a 1v1. It doesn't even matter if you lose, it's the right play. So as you can see, they actually broke their economy a little bit and uh, this round um not much to analyze. They is pistols versus M4s. I mean, Let's see if they got a bomb down, All right? Let's see if they got bomb down. Okay, so they got bomb down. So Astralis wins another round. Like even if they lost the round, they got bomb down. Now they have full economy to do, you know, whatever they want to do on the last round. I mean, still too tech nice though. So this round, I'm thinking they probably want to go B again, just in terms of their equipment. It's you know, if they go outside, they're pretty much screwed up. So I, I think they might do three one one again. So three IV. Okay, nope. So they're gonna go straight to B. Have one guy lurk at IV. And uh, this is a pretty good strat. I mean, wait, so they might actually commit down. Okay, so Stannis Lock is the early pick. And uh, you can see how fast the T's are moving. How fast the T's are trying to push the CT's back, right, with their aggressiveness. So they are going to go B after all. So they have three smoke, four smokes. And uh, probably going to smoke out here, smoke out here, here, smoke out here, and then go go down. So Nav, Nav is pretty much... Not seeing much action, honestly. I think Astralis doesn't care about Ivy so much. I think mainly they care about, you know, and they know that the CTs are gonna play very, very passive. I mean, they're right. You know, they probably analyze a lot of demos, see that you know no one really pushes on optic, and they're really taking advantage of this right now because every time Astralis gets into the side, it's a four v two. You know, there's no the initial defense is very weak, and you know they might lose this round just because of that. You know, optic is not really. Okay, that was weird. So Optic is really not, you know, mixing up their CT side aggression. They're playing very default and uh, against a very good European team, which can just abuse you, you know, based on your tendencies. And uh, okay, perfect. The uh, flash dodge. Okay, he could have traded it, but he was in a very bad position. And now, now the round is pretty much over. 11 to 4 half. I mean, you can never come back from this. So. Even though, even though Naf did pretty good, I mean Naf has what, 15 kills already. So, so, so. The reason why I'm doing this, you know, why I'm doing this demo, is is mainly because. It's mainly because, it's, it's mainly because you know. Even if you're losing the round, even if you're losing the match, you can still play it, you know perfectly or play as much perfectly as you can okay sorry sorry okay so they lost the pistol and uh naf is holding a angle which a headshot angle for ivy and uh he hears the guy on the left and the guy on the right and gets instantly headshot it so this round is over as well I mean, yeah, you could try to play as perfectly as you can, and always try to do that. Like, understand what you're doing is correctly. 
And if you're doing it correctly, it doesn't matter if your teammates are losing, you know. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're losing the round. Like, don't get your morale down because, you know, sure, you're getting wrecked, right, on train by one of the best teams in the world. But you are playing your position correctly. You're making the correct decisions. You're rotating correctly. You know, you're throwing the right flashes. You're timing the right nades, right? So that's the most important thing. So, you know, if, you're lose if your teammate, you know, on B-site, you know, and on B-site gets no entries at CT when T is getting and they don't even get one kill that's that's the B side players problem that's not your problem so um, this is the mentality that you gotta have because sometimes if you try to rush things right if you try to take too many duels that but that might actually make your play worse make your team play worse so San gets a early entry on Dupree and uh, Nav is holding um, B side push just to make sure that so Stan gets another kill, so Naf is trying to, you know, work his way to B side. So now it's already a 5v1, it doesn't really matter if Naf is holding angle or if he's pushing. Like, as long as they know where the, as long as they know where the last CT is, you know, the other four will just hunt, hunt them down, right? Hunt them down. So that's what Naf is doing, that's why he's constantly pushing. So he already knows he's on B side. And uh, easy kill right there. Easy spray down, right? So now the... Australia's um, economy is actually broken now, so this makes it good for you know Optic to really capitalize on this round, make sure they don't lose any members. You know that's the important thing. Like on a round like this, you really don't want to lose anybody. At max, you want to lose like one person, so you you're building up the economy, right? And uh, that's the most important thing. So make sure that you know even on the eco rounds, you know they're eco. Try to play safe a little bit so that your team has a long-term sort of strategy to win right so more buys you know more economy keep the enemy economy down and uh, so Naf is holding this this angle I guess this angle is pretty good you know for holding and you have one guy holding stairs uh, I mean one guy holding ladder and you're holding um and you're holding the you know B site push and you can see um, who is this so exist is uh, Zifnix, Zifnix is getting kind of impatient. I mean, he's trickle peeking, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna lurk up there around like 20 more se seconds or so, just so to check it out. I mean, they do have to make a play. So when you're on, when you're five v four as T, you have to make a play as CTC. Exactly what what Zifnix does, right? He's trying to sneak up, and he might actually get kills here because you know no one's watching. No one's watching. I don't know where Stan is. Maybe Stan's watching it. Okay, so Zifnix is, is coming behind them. So Zifnix is coming behind them. Okay, so Zifnix whiffed and then get a kill and um, another round for Optic. So things are picking up from Optic. Maybe, maybe this, maybe this map is T-sided now. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe teams are figuring out how to clear angles, how to smoke off positions, and how to isolate uh, players. So I think overall CS:GO is more T-sided now because you can dictate a lot of the pace. A lot of the aggression where the CTs can't anticipate, right? Especially if you mix up different hits, right? We're gonna do, you know, late round A, A site, early round A site, late round A site, B site, early round A site, or early round A site, and then we switch to B. So a lot of variations where teams can do. And uh, so Dupree already gave up his life. So it looks like this round is gonna go inner. So they're holding B back really, really back. So, so when this happens, you know, I don't really like this type of setup, like because you know, they could push up here, or they could push up here, and they'll know like CTs, right? And they'll know for sure that they're going to B. I mean, they're going to A. Okay, so 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 they're okay, so they're still not clearing B, like they're still not clearing the B halls. I mean, five v three, it doesn't really matter. They're just waiting for CTs to push, and CTs do want to push. I think I see device, right? Device, device, device is trying to. Device might want to push up, uh, and then you know Nafly will catch him, right? So device want to push up now. So so he hear he hear. Okay. Oh wow. So that's that's. So he didn't hear the flash. He didn't know he was coming down. Very very easy round here. So this round, I'm probably gonna go through it very fast because you know. It's an equal round. I'm I'm not gonna see any surprises here. I hope um, early nade just to stop the push. I'm not even. I think that late nade is way too early. Uh, another flash to just you know show some presence. Go down ladder. Okay, another round here. 
so very easy very 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 easy rounds here so uh this is where you know the optic might have to run some stress to make sure that you know they are getting the most you know advantage in situations and um as we can see um mix wall is um gonna go for an ivy pick and nafly is okay so nafly's default is always the b b b section of this map so either ladder b halls you know with tower they try to okay so so they got naded pretty bad there and uh they're trying to take control of this early so it's like inferno you know this is like the inferno uh inferno like car section right so you want to take car so th they always have to have someone b and uh yeah so he didn't get the trade which was unfortunate he should have gotten the trade for sure you know any world world class player would have gotten that trade um just got yeah sometimes you're just unlucky with the timing but i could see what they were doing but i think they were way too aggressive there um they should have you know coordinated it better so when Tyrek goes in uh nafla immediately goes in and not like half a second later because csgo is all about timing all right um so same thing i imagine they do the same setup so so the so naf throws a nade to make sure they're not pushing up close which is pretty good i mean as you can see ziffnix is the only one b site i mean that's a lot of confidence on ziffnix if he could make sure that they don't go to b site at all that's you know 4a you're not gonna lose the a site ever ever right like that's not gonna happen and let's see what, what position ziffnix is playing that allows him to do that okay so he plays up here which is pretty dangerous to be honest so he plays on the beat bomb site um he's just moving around you know getting okay so now device is helping him lower uh they probably sniffed out something right they probably sniffed out something why because they already have ladder control if you don't have ladder how the hell are you gonna go a right so you can see the level of detail that Astralis is working with that they know they're probably gonna go b and that's why we already have 2b right and we can have the early flank from ladder you know two people are gonna flank you guys there's nothing that optic can do they're just being outplayed this round right okay so they're they're taking some good fights here they get it to a 3v3 and uh they probably know the flank is coming but they don't know where and yeah it's it's just a wash right they don't know they don't they, they, they got outplayed very hard that round i just feel so sorry for them see i'll see these sides so i guess if you take ladder control you're pretty much guaranteed the win like because you have two ladder right there there nobody can take ladder from you right and the only way they could go a is from team a and ivy which you have two people holding right or you have two people holding or even just one person because the latter person is gonna watch team a so you have one person holding ivy you have two at b which is which is a very very strong setup because you know they're probably more likely gonna be anyways have op holding lower and then have someone on site to you know delay them when they throw their nades and flashes and uh so this round so optics t side is very very they like they like to rush things a little bit too much right they they don't take their time as much they don't default for as long um see like they haven't taken any position on the map right so they don't have any position they're way too far back they're way far back and they're looking for executions like i don't like this type of t side at all i like the type of t side where you can be you know just sufficiently aggressive in the early round to make sure that you are taking as much real estate on the map as possible so after so after the round pans out you know you don't have to wait as much time or use as much utilities to get on the site but everybody has a different philosophy and you, as you can see um this round it worked out pretty good i mean they were able to execute on the site pretty easily and get the entry kill and uh so naf gets killed again we're gonna see the last round pan out if they if they actually win this round right so rush Rush is a safe player for the bomb, so he he's got to stay alive. And uh, there's no molly for, there's no so there's no molly for. Okay, so he could see the bomb actually. Okay, so that's a good good molly. Does they know how to? Oh man, oh man. Okay, so they still win this round. Perfect. So they still win this round. 
And uh, the economy is broken for Australia's, and I don't think they're gonna buy, so we're gonna stick up the next round. Wait, is this the last round? How? How are you gonna lose to this buy? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's gotta be sad, man. You're losing to a Pew 50s and like an AK 47? Oh my god. That should never happen in a pro game. That should just never happen. Okay, so push out. So play it very safe there. Pop flashes. Uh, throw his off as he tells his early to show presence. Um, so they don't push up. So he really liked this spot. I guess no one has tested him here, here yet. So it's an off angle that he could catch people off guard if they try to push too aggressively. Um, as you can see, you know, they're just jiggle peeking, right? So they're working pretty well here. So they're just jiggle peeking. And as soon as, you know, Tiffnex takes contact, Dupree will swing out. That's exactly their plan. And uh, so they're executing onto the A site. Okay, you didn't see that flash. He's pretty much. Oh wow, he found his way. I don't know how. That that was crazy. So he found his way back to electric. I mean, the thing with Nav, he doesn't jiggle peek enough. He peeks out way too much. He white peeks every single angle, and you know you're always facing, you know, five, th three to four players at the same time, which you have no advantage at all. So device is gonna die. So, okay, so this shouldn't be the last round. Oh my god. So Dupree's gonna clutch this? Why are you peeking, man? Oh wow. And Rush are now gonna lose the 1v1 as well? Like how? How did they lose this round? To no armor. That's just terrible. So Dupree's working closer. Oh god damn it. Okay, there it is guys. Um GG's. Uh we're gonna see the diffuse in slow motion here. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know uh, it's pretty fast. Um, I try to go over, you know, what Nafla is doing correctly, what Nafla is not getting correctly, with also some commentary on the strats that teams are doing. Tell me um, what you guys like more. If you guys want me to analyze a specific player, a specific map, or a specific match, uh, whichever one you guys like more, I'll try to upload those type of videos. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. And uh, hope you guys rank up to Global Elite like me.